Hey there friend, welcome back to my channel or if you're brand new here, welcome. My name is Jill Baird and you have found your spot for all things free and fitness related. So I have classes ranging from very beginner levels of strength, cardio, and yoga all the way up to advanced levels of cardio, hit, and yoga and everything in between. Today's workout is a quick strength and hit cardio workout. Uh, we have four circuits that we're gonna work through. Um, a three by three, which is three exercises three times through. A Tabata, which we're going to alternate between two exercises, eight rounds, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. Then we're going to do a two by two, which is two exercises two times through. And then we're gonna finish up with another Tabata. The Tabata rounds are no equipment and they are intended as high intensity cardio. If you need to modify it, I will offer some modifications where you will not be jumping. As far as dumbbells, um, for one of the circuits, I am going to use dumbbells. That is the first circuit. And I am using medium, which for me is 10 pounds. So in my opinion, when I work out, generally the heaviest I'll use is 20s. So a 10 is right in the middle for me. For some exercises, I use fives. Um, but remember, you have to make those choices for yourself because I'm not there to watch your form. So you are in charge of making those decisions for yourself. We are going to start this class with two minutes of activation work, but there is not a warm up included in this workout. So please, there's a card linked above that has a suitable warm up, or down in my description below, there are a couple of other warm ups linked. It would be best for your body to spend more time warming up than just the two minutes that we're going to do right now. But if you've already been for a walk or been out and about, played tennis, something else, you're probably sufficiently warm, but never, ever, ever skimp on your warm up. It is perhaps the most important part of the workout because it gets our body ready for the rest of the work. All right, so go ahead and meet me standing at the back of the mat. I'm gonna hit the timer and we're gonna come down into some walkouts. So bending your knees as much as you need, bringing your hands down, walking out into a plank, Holding that plank, squeeze your bum, press the mat away, walk your hands back, roll up, tuck your tailbone under, lift your fingertips to the sky. So we're gonna do that again, and we're gonna add on from the plank. So walk yourself out into that plank, step your right foot to the outside of your right hand, gaze is forward, step the right foot back, step the left foot to the outside of the left hand, gaze forward, step it back, Walk your hands back, extend your fingertips, roll your tailbone under, come up to standing, and we're gonna do a squat and come back up to stand. We're gonna do that again. Hinge at the hips, walk the fingertips out to your high plank, right foot to the outside of the right hand, step it back, left foot to the outside of the left hand. Now we're gonna add again, right foot to right hand, step it back, left foot to left hand, walk your hands back, knees can be bent or straight depending on how warm you are already, fingertips up and two squats. All right, we're gonna do that again, three times, stepping the right foot, step it back, step the left foot, step it back, right, left, right, left, walk it back, roll it up one vertebra at a time, tuck the tailbone under, three squats. One, two, and three. And then from here, we're just gonna start to do some cross body, elbow to knee, last couple seconds here. Activity completed. And that is our activation. Press pause if you need more of a warm up, and please, 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 please do more of a warm up if you need. Otherwise, grab those medium dumbbells and meet me. Our first exercise is going to be curtsy lunges. 
So stepping right foot behind left, left behind right, hips facing forward. Then we're gonna come into a bent over row and then we'll come down onto our backs for a bridge with a chest fly. All right, friends, be ready. Here we go. Okay, curtsy, curtsy lunges. So stepping right foot behind the left knee, left foot behind the right knee, keeping your chest nice and tall, and then pressing into that front heel and the back toes to come up to stand. Working the inner thighs here. Working the quads, the hamstrings, the glutes. So really, really good. <laughs> Covers all your bases, lower body movement. Okay, bent over row. We have a hinge at the hips, bringing the chest parallel to the mat. Palms face in, and then squeeze from your upper back, from that spot between your shoulders. Gaze out beyond the horizon of your mat. Most of the weight is in your heels. You should be able to lift your toes and then hold those dumbbells at the top of the row and lower with control. Exhale as you lift and squeeze and inhale as you lower. And make it exaggerated like you're blowing out birthday candles with the exhale and really smelling the flowers with the inhale. Okay, carefully come down onto your back. We're gonna come up into a hip bridge with a chest fly. So the palms face up towards the ceiling. Slight bend in the elbows. And I want you to press those dumbbells together, but don't let them touch. Really squeeze the muscles in your chest. Blow out the birthday candles as you lift, and then lower with control as you inhale. Hug the inner thighs, inner knees in towards one another. Squeeze your butt. All right, we're gonna repeat those. Come up very carefully. We're gonna repeat those again. And this time I'm gonna change the lever a little bit for the curtsy lunges. We're gonna have the dumbbells wrapped in our shoulders. Just mixes up the exercise a little bit. And then we'll build on this in our final time frame. You really think about squeezing the butt of the front leg to come up, which requires a good press through the heel. Your shoulders should be stacked over your hips so you're not leaning forward, and the shoulders are open, not hunched in. Okay, bent over row, loop those shoulders down and back into their sockets, hinge at the hips, slight tuck in the tailbone. If you have a yoga block or a Pilates ball, you could squeeze it between your knees here. between your shoulder blades and your lats on the side of your back. All right, back into that chest fly with the bridge. Press into your heels, squeeze your buns. Knit those front ribs in towards one another and down towards your hips. And then think about pulling your belly button back in and up. And then again, if you have that yoga block or Pilates ball, 
You can bring it between your knees to keep that form with your lower body good, to keep your low back nice and safe. All right, one more round through. Mindfully come up to stand. So for our curtsy lunges, we're gonna bring those dumbbells back to our shoulder. We're gonna curtsy back. We're gonna come up to stand. And then on that same side that went back, we're gonna pivot and press. And we're gonna alternate sides. So my right leg steps back, steps up, pivot, and I twist to press the dumbbell. So working very mindfully. And once you have your shape, your form rather, then you can go a little bit faster. All right, back to those bent over rows. Last time, my arms are getting pretty tired from holding these dumbbells for so long. <clears throat> Squeeze at the top. Make sure that those shoulders are down away from your ears and locked back into their sockets so that we're working the appropriate muscles. Not the fronts of the shoulders, but the back. Let's go four seconds, 17, 18, 
15, 20, 21, 21, 21. I have to get 21 the next two times through. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fingertips behind the head. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21. Okay, 24. So what did I have? 21 and 24. I'm gonna start on the opposite side of my mat this time for the speed skaters. Just keep things even. <laughs> Try to beat 21. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 10, 15, 16, 18, four seconds, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Oh, that's a lot to live up to. <laughs> Hope I can do it the next round. Okay, back to the twisties. Think more of driving the knee than bringing the elbow down.
terms of working glutes, quads. Oh my goodness, there's 10 seconds left. Who comes up with this stuff? Are you cursing them out just like I am? Oh wait, it's me. <laughs> Curse away, just don't quit. Okay, this time we're gonna start at the top of the mat in that bear crawl, and we're gonna go backwards first and then forwards. So, find that quadruped position, tuck your toes, knees hover, step the right hand and the left foot back, then the left hand and the right foot. Keep that belly button pulled back, hit it up. Keep the shoulders away from your ears, but they are in a protracted position here, so we're not squeezing anything imaginary between our shoulder blades. We're wrapping them around our ribs, lifting that spot between our shoulder blades up towards the ceiling. All right, friends, you've got this mere seconds left. I hope you have some good music pumping in the background. If you want to drop me a note, let me know what you're listening to. I'd love to know. If you'd like to set, share your Spotify with me, I'd love to check it out. Uh, mine is linked below. Right hand is in front this time. Come up on your knees, stack your shoulders over your hips, hinge, send the butt back, and come up. Ooh, like you're mad at something, right? Or you're chopping wood, it's cold, you need to get that fire going, you're chopping the wood. Also a place where you can squeeze the Pilates ball or the yoga block. Sorry, I had a lack of oxygen to my brain there. My heart rate must be up pretty high. Let's go, last four seconds. You've totally got this. Oh, okay. Put the dumbbell off to the side. Take a moment to regroup. Pull it together. Take a drink of water if you need. We have one Tabata circuit left. Um, we have jumping jacks on our feet, and we have plank jacks on the mat. If you have shoulder issues and plank jacks aren't for you, you're gonna do standing jumping jacks for all eight rounds. The reason I programmed this workout to end this way is I want your heart rate high when you step off of this mat. I want you to keep burning throughout the day. We've used dumbbells, we've used weight to work our muscles, and now we're going to use more body weight um, moves to really amp up our cardiovascular system, okay? So it's a best of both worlds workout here, all rolled into one in a very short period of time. I know you're ready, you've been listening to me talk for way too long. I'm going to press pause and we're going to work our buns off for those 20 second increments, right? It's only 20 seconds. All right, friends, we're going to get started with those jumping jacks. Let's go. If you're feeling extra spicy and jumping jacks are just too easy for you this morning or this afternoon or whenever you're doing this workout, you're going to come down and you're going to give me star jumps. Otherwise, the rest of us mere mortals are going to be here doing jumping jacks. All right, 10 seconds break. When you make your way down into that high plank, top of a push-up, palms underneath shoulders, press the finger pads in the mat, and then jump your feet out and in. Keep your bum tucked under, squeeze your buns. You wanna make it spicy, you tap opposite hand to opposite shoulder as you jump. All right, so here it goes. Jumping jacks or star jumps. It's only 20 seconds. I'm doing star jumps this round. So we're gonna bend down, hop up. But I want you doing jumping jacks as fast as you can if you are not. Or you're doing step jacks if you're not jumping. Not gonna lie, this is tough. Oh, but we're tougher. Okay. Oh, man. Plank jumps. Come down into that high plank. 
plank. Let's go. Jumping the feet out and in. Remember, option. Opposite palm to opposite shoulder. Do not let the butt come up. So again, protraction of the shoulders, not squeezing the shoulder blades together. Okay, friends, that's halfway. Let's do it. <sighs> okay, I'm doing star jumps again. Life's too short. options out there when it comes to working out and it means a lot to me that you like to come and work out with me. I love working out with you. Please let me know where you're working out from in the comments below. Like the video, subscribe to my channel, and until next time, keep moving, stay healthy, get sunshine and drink water, and meet me back here next Tuesday. See you soon, friends.